Hey, good morning, traders. My morning video. Okay, so basically, we're, we know that we are potentially in a major topping zone uh, in the markets. Uh, this is where the measured moves and everything are projecting that we should be finding resistance. Uh, so, you know, some th main takeaways I got going on this morning here. If this is a major topping zone, I would find, think that we'd start seeing relative uh, weakness in the Russell. Okay, I think that would be our leading indicator. So this morning, we just came up on the RTY, tagged the midline of the downtrend, okay, of our downtrend uh, channel. Uh, so basically, I've got this based off the 2024 anchored VWAP, the green channel here. And we just uh, bounced off that. So basically, if you guys are really thinking about the bearish thesis in the market, and we're possibly topping here, this is one of the top things that I'd be watching this morning to see this reject uh, being knowing it is the weakest area in the market. And this is where you would expect um, monies to start rotating out first, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, so basically we really want to watch this this morning as a major indicator, seeing if, you know, this high is secure for the morning session. And we can we we start rotating lower here okay and uh so we rallied yesterday hard and so up till yesterday you know we were uh about you know so we finally broke out above it around what time is that one o'clock one o'clock yesterday afternoon so up till then we were bearish on the inventory for the year on the nasdaq on the russell so so we've got a breakout right here, but it's all, it's a very weak and feeble breakout back to the bullish side. We had a similar situation that happened a few, that lasted a few days for Apple. Apple reported earnings. It broke below its 2024 anchored view app, came back up, and yesterday it rejected and rejected hard. Okay, And so what we're seeing is a lot of these names that when they do reject their anchored view app, they're coming up and back testing, possibly going over just a little bit, but a few of them are actually holding it. They're they're actually they're, they're you know they're they're rotating back below those anchor, that anchored VWAP levels, okay. Especially when these anchored VWAPs are in a downtrend, okay. And um, an Apple is in that situation, and the Russell's in that situation. So that is my top thing that I want to mention this morning. Uh, other things we're looking at here, we can zoom in here. We'll start with the ESs. Okay, guys, one second here. Okay, on ESs, I had the wrong uh, drawing set up. So basically, we're currently above our uh, central pivot range. Typically, what we're trying to do to find weakness for an early uh, reversion trade to the opposite direction, you're looking for an open below the uh, central pivot range, finding difficulty in the overnight session to, to hold prices above the central pivot range. So far this morning, none of the indices are showing us that. So you have to lean bullish this morning. So, so be mindful of that. We are coming into what could be a potentially a major trend line. And we are a little bit away from our, uh, this is our weekly anchored VWAP. This is our daily anchored uh, VWAP, okay? So we're getting quite extended on our VWAPs. Uh, ideally, what we're looking for is a price somewhere around uh, 50, 50, potentially 50, uh, 50, 27, 50, 30, something like that. So we just hit 50, 24. Uh, so, uh, so just remember, we're getting right into a possible area of rejection. So just to kick off the morning. So be very mindful of that. Uh, you know, we might be awfully close to that rejection area. You know, they might want to come right up into the top of my uh, anchored uh, VWAP uh, trend for, for the week. So this is our anchored VWAP trend for the week, the yellow right there. Okay. And uh, this is our anchored VWAP for the year. So we are out above the channel for the anchored VWAP for the year, you know, uh, you know, putting in these higher prices. So, you know, uh, just be mindful of that, okay? And and um, but like I said, right now everything looks bullish. They're still trying to find, uh, you know, they can't find seem to find any sellers. The momentum is still quite strong. 
We do have a possible trend line cross that could actually give us, but we don't have any type of uh, uh, price level suggesting that, you know, we have any, you know, uh, in the cash session, we have it back tested. You know, there's probably a pretty good odds we're going to back test the VWAP, and that's a critical uh, volume level. So, you know, early on in the session, there's probably a really good odds we're going to back test. Uh, you know, possibly losing that trend line initially in the session. So, you know, that that's the most bullish that I can be on ESs right here, or the most bearish. Some other things I'm looking at here on the uh, uh, NQs. We we're looking for a target close to uh, 18,000. It's a major resistance for the NQs, 18,000. Um, this has been acting as Wednesday. This has acted as uh, a lot of resistance above this trend line right here, okay? For above this trend line, a lot of resistance. So we have, so far this week, we've been back testing this trend line, this yellow trend line, uh, all week long. Maybe we don't do that today, but that's, you know, the, what the, has been playing out the past couple of days. And, uh, you know, we're really getting into some nosebleed area. Uh, so, uh, you know, just be mindful of that R really good odds we're going to come back to VWAP um at, do the minimum back test here uh in the early on in the session we'll see what happens um but they yeah, uh we are above the central pivot range like i said if you're really looking for a reversion trade you're looking for an open a market open below that central pivot range and uh, uh we currently don't have that So uh, what we got currently going on here is kind of like an inverted head and shoulders right at the 2024 channel high, current channel high on the Dow Jones. So that's what I'm seeing right here on the Dow Jones this morning. Despite having you know a, a slew of bad earnings reports this morning, uh, Dow-related earnings reports, they're selling off. Uh, PepsiCo is one of them. Um, you know, this thing looks like it's potentially about to break out to the upside on the Dow Jones. So uh, definitely keep this one on watch today. Like I said, similar situation here above the central pivot range. The central pivot ranges are tighter, you know, so we're, we're at, we've been actually building a squeeze scenario here on the Dow Jones. So uh, be mindful of that as well, okay? Uh, like, uh, and this is our current trend, the yellow, is our current trend for the week on the Dow Jones. So. Yeah, Russell is really key right here. We really want to see an early rejection on the Russell to validate weakness, uh, any kind of weakness in today's session. Quick things on the move this morning. Marathon is up 10% uh, right here. Uh, it's one of your uh, internet uh, or one of your uh, Bitcoin or uh, crypto names. Uh, quite a bit of volume. 10% on high volume this early on this morning. Uh, very low market cap. So be, be mindful of that. So, so far, that's helping support the Russell. Uh, Soxel, that's your uh, bullish. Uh, they got your bullish semiconductors. Three-time bullish semiconductors. So got quite a bit of volume on that this morning. Riot's another one of your uh, crypto names. Coin. So the crypto names are the ones really driving price this morning. Uh, Palantir. Continuing its ascent here. So that's it on the bullish side. None of those are really impacting the Dow, so remember, remember that. Oops, hit the wrong one. On the downside this morning, Expedia. Man, I had everybody talking about how bullish they were on Expedia yesterday. Expedia getting spanked on earnings. A firm that's that go that bodes that goes right hand in hand with the health of, of the consumer and consumer spending and financing. It's getting spanked this morning, down 10%. Uh, Take-2's down 8.2%. Pins is down. So 
many of these earnings are not coming in that good this morning. So be mindful of that. Uh, Airbnb is down. Uh, that, that thing's really been on, on fire. Uh, see, I'm on volume here. Bearish, the, the, the most volume is bearish on the, uh, uh, the bear three time on, uh, semiconductors, P hunt, really low market cap on that one. SQQ, that's your bearish. That's your bearish there. So they're selling off, uh, you know, any of these three-time or two-time uh, ETFs. Those are the ones that are getting the volume on the bearish side this morning. So really, uh, outside of those few names there, um, you know, those are the, those are your volume leaders uh, this morning. And we did have PepsiCo come out this morning. I don't see it on the list. Uh, I don't know how far down it is right now. Let's check it out. Where's Pepsi? Yeah, let's see. Maybe Pepsi's up now. No, Pepsi got hit. Uh, it's not hitting my volume list, though. It's down quite a ways, so it should be. Uh, it should be further up here than that. There it is, right there. PepsiCo, right there. So only 93,000 traded on that one. Okay, that's a quick rundown. So, sorry guys. Uh, please like the video if you like it and uh, retweet it on Twitter if you get a chance. Hopefully my audio is working really good. Uh, you can leave comments below. I will have a link to my Discord if anybody wants to join. It's free. Uh, so, uh, bottom line is trend is up. Be very cautious uh, if you're trying to short the markets. You're really better off to short individual names than try to mess with the indices until we get a better setup. Because right now, the setup is not favorable for the shorts. Uh, but we are an extreme put-to-call ratio, uh, heavily weighted to the call side. Um, closing out a week that really hasn't had any type of pullback. You know, And typically, the market makers do try to get a, a decent pullback during the course of a week. Uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, uh, improve their positioning, uh, you know, and with everybody being heavily weighted on the call side, you know, knowing that we really haven't had any type of pullback, you have to be mindful of that. And then on the flip side, nine out of 10 weeks, you do tend to have uh, the markets tagging one side of the expected move or the other. So we're fighting that to the upside. And, you know, we have not gotten to the expected move, market maker expected move to the upside yet. Uh, that would put us close to 50-50 uh, on the uh, SPX or on the uh, ESs, 50-50 on the ESs. Uh, I think it's about 50-20 or something like that on the SPX to achieve that goal. Right, thanks a lot. See you later.